Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models, and this is part four of the Apollo Saturn V. Uh, right, I've already cut off all the bits that I needed. I did them last time when I was getting the sprues ready. So these are these are the last parts from the kit. Uh, pretty self-explanatory, actually, most of it. We've got, let's say, the, the landing module itself, those bits. Uh, two little landing crew guys. Oh, sorry, that's part of the landing crew as well. Uh, we've got the top pointy bit, which just goes together like that, and then goes into the top of that. And we have the re-entry module, which goes together like that, and has a, a decal around the top. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to get these bits done now. Uh, so there's not really anything to to show you basically they glue together I'll sand down the edges and then get that onto the top of there uh, all of that is going to be white as I said G is white yep all of that's white uh, the landing module itself is where are we M uh, which M is silver so I'll do that in, uh, prime that in black, and then get that painted in silver, and then get the decal on there. Uh, so all that primed in white and left white. The guys I'm not worrying about till the end, so I'll put them aside again. Uh, the module itself, we've got basically the two sides go together like that. That then, Sort of bayonets onto there it's got a little keyhole cut out there bayonets on there and locks on like that that goes onto the bottom something like that with the thruster in the middle of that and on there go the legs now the reason this is all different is because the legs have again got some movement to them so they can sort of uh, fold in when it's put into the top compartment so that will be on there like that and then the legs themselves should somehow maybe it comes clear when they're glued together I think they probably just they're loose so when they're like that you can fold them in but obviously when you're standing it on them they force themselves out and come out to the right position and obviously that bit is the bit that would stay on the ground when it's launched back up into that's the bit that comes back up so they can transfer across to come home uh, the colors for those I haven't denubbed any of these as you may have noticed there so literally just cut off the spruce uh, the module itself it's got lots of gold on it if I remember correctly uh, what have we got on here we have uh, J lots of J which is gold so basically the underside of this actually probably all of that yeah all, all of that and the legs are gold it says don't glue them uh, the final thruster is K on the outside which is steel and L on the inside which is the grey same as the, the last sec section uh, and J, oh, the bottom of this is also gold. And the main body itself is C, which is aluminium. So quite easy actually, that, that's all going to be gold. That's the metallic steel and that, and that is aluminium. Uh, so I'm going to get these glued together, get rid of the nubs, get them all looking nice. Uh, keep that separate, that separate, and all of that separate, because that's all going to be gold. And that's going to be aluminium. So, I'm going to get most of that done up, and then come back and show you the next stage. And that's all the main painting done. Uh, what have I got? I've got all the, the gold bits. I've done the ladder in silver, as it is in all the pictures. Now they have to go into there and the thruster needs to go on the bottom there but before I do that uh, 
obviously the, the top cone is all done as well, no problem with that. Uh, the three silvery bits, uh, one is in silver, one is in steel, and one is in aluminium. And I don't know about anyone else, but I can't tell which is which. They all look almost exactly the same. I really wouldn't be able to tell that they were different unless I didn't know they were different. So the, the landing module is all done in silver, which is all fine, I'm happy with that, no problem at all. Uh, that actually is designed so that attaches onto there if you need it to, for the, sorry, I'll get it back on camera, um, for when it redocks so you can have it model posed in different positions. So that's that. Uh, the main body of the lander itself, I'm not happy with. Uh, I thought the seam was gonna be all right, but it's very noticeable. So I'm actually gonna sand that back down again and redo that and repaint that before I attach it onto the the legs, which just bayonets on, so that's nice and easy. So that can go on at any time. So I'm not, not unhappy with having to redo that, but so that's back in the pile to start again. Uh, but what I am going to do first is put the, the legs on. Now I have checked the instructions and apparently the one with the ladder goes here. I assume that's correct for everything else. Uh, so these don't actually get glued in place, but obviously that does. So I just need to check how that's going to go in place. So there is a, are actually pegs there, so that does make sure you've got that the right way around as well. So I just need to glue around the top here, which is just off camera. Let's move that back in a bit. So around here it's glued. And that's a peg there, there. So the leg basically goes on like that. And that goes over the top. Now the trick as ever with this is gonna be getting it all done the same, so that one is different, all the other three legs are identical. So hopefully I can turn that round, get that in there. As this is all gold, I can go back in quite easily and touch up the paint around the, the join on that. So I'm hoping, actually I might be able to do that upside down. should locate in place something like that and all the legs should be free to fall in and fall out indeed for when it is in different positions so yes that's that the thruster obviously then gets glued into the bottom there but we're well, going to have to touch this up in gold I'm not going to glue that on there quite yet I'll do that afterwards once this is dried, I'll go around and touch up the, the edge because I'm going to have to add a bit more glue around there as well. So that will need so a little bit of attention, which isn't a problem. Once that's set, all right, that's that. So there we have one landing base unit that obviously stays on the moon. It goes like that. And all the legs move, so that's good. That's all nice. Doesn't feel quite right on there though. Not sure. I think that leg might have been trapped just that little bit. So I'll leave that to dry and hope that and check that, make sure that is as it should be. Make sure all the legs are still free to move once it's dried as well. Uh, then get the thruster glued on there. Uh, that bit's finished apart from the decals, so I'll get those done in a little while. And the lander, so I'll be sanding back down and sorting out that seam line. So one side's not too bad, but the other side being a, a nice flat open area does need to be Nicer than that, so I'll be taking that back down to the basic, back to the start. So, um, stick around, so next up, I'd say once that's done, I won't bother showing you doing that, because it's say duplication of stuff that's already happened. Uh, what I will do is,
grab the top part from previous and just see how this goes together that again there's a little blob in the center there so that will just locate on there and that goes over the top so that's basically the top of the rocket completed so that will come off with that and leaving the base unit and that will come out of there as well there we go so that's yeah all in all that's coming together quite well not sure what these two bits are for but that will no doubt become apparent at some point so that goes on there this obviously comes off and that is where the land of it will sit hopefully once the legs fold in a bit and that will go in there like that so yeah all coming together almost completed uh, once it is so there's the final bits of painting and decals to do so I'll be back in a moment and we'll start on some of those well that's the lander finished and put together the gold bit which this does key off of uh, I've deliberately went a bit heavy with the paint and then sort of blew it with the airbrush a bit to give some of the sort of crinkly effects that because it's basically gold foil that looks crinkly in the pictures trying to get that down to this scale i haven't been able to duplicate it quite right but it's better than just being dead flat so i'm i'm fairly happy with how that's come out i might play around with it and try and sort of uh, crease it up a bit but that's that working which when it, you hold it up all the legs go in and when you put it down all the legs come out so i'm happy with that uh, next up are the decals now we've got lots of decals on there um the main rocket itself I'm not going to put those on yet because I do need to do the, the black painting on that. But the bits that I've done the painting on already, basically these bits, I can do the decals on now. So I'm going to start with this one, uh, which basically has just got on the on the large area. Uh, there's two of the little decals that say United States, which are these ones on here, marked at number four. Uh, so let me just double check where they need to go because it doesn't actually show you. You've got a page that tells you where all the decals go on the little bits. So we've got the, the black squares around the back of the, the lander. These on there, which look to be at the top between the things. Oh, there's other little bits on the, the boosters, the six. Which are they? Oh, that's those four there. So we've got four boosters around there. They go just in the middle of those. So we've got them to go on as well. And on the the bit that comes back to earth we've got again united states to go around there just on the big open areas uh so i'll figure out exactly where they need to go i think they're up the top there but they might be across the bottom so i'll, I'll do a bit of research on that before i do those uh i'll get these ones on now uh when doing decals i'm sure you've done them before basically you need to cut off the bits you need which isn't that one because i'm not doing that one at the moment i'm doing this one the curly ones so I'm going to cut those down, just cut them off of the sheet, looks like I might need a new blade in my knife actually, that didn't come through very well. Uh, move those completely out of the way, now I've got some water and I've got a pair of tweezers, basically what I'm doing is just putting them in the water, letting the backing paper soak up the water. I'll put that down there and then carefully we can tease that let's get that on one side um, the decal itself will be able to move there we go just see it moving across there a little bit so we can put that next to the the kit and using the edge of the tweezers or something else that's not going to tear it Just peel that off and get that stuck on there like that. Now the decals just add a level of realism to a kit. 
they just make it look a little bit more like a real thing obviously if they're not a real thing like a spaceship or whatever then they just make it look real so I'll get that in the right place and then using some of the microset and microsol I'm not going to bother with microset microsol later first of all is microset uh, basically you just need to brush wet and it just helps it bed down uh, these are going onto a flat surface so it's not a problem but sometimes if you've got ridges or something that it's going over okay I had another one on that side I've obviously picked it up and it's gone somewhere so did anyone see it go anywhere I haven't seen it it's really strange that's very strange I'll come back to that in a minute when I can find that missing bit it's not stuck to me okay I'm gonna have a good look for that so I'll come back in a moment when I can find it bye bye well that's a little scary that's just disappeared completely I walked back the video and I can actually see the the moment I turn it around I put this one on and then when I put it down it's not there I can only assume it must have got caught on a finger and I don't know I've looked everywhere and it's disappeared it's vanished into the, the everywhere it's not stuck to me anywhere so I'm going to be very careful when I take pictures of this to only take pictures of that side so you can't see that there's a missing decal on the other side because there isn't a spare for anything like that and I'm not going to bother replacing a whole sheet of decals just for that one so um, most of the time that's going to be covered up by that anyway so we just won't tell anybody okay our little secret nobody watches all these videos anyway uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these done put on and figure out where that one's going to go as well and then when all the decals are done on that I'll be starting on the big job of the painting the the main rocket so I'll uh, get that set up and show you what's going to happen on that and see you soon if you see that decal anywhere let me know now the next stage is painting the um, the, the black bits basically uh, now as I've done the main body in a white primer I've decided I'm going to use the black primer uh, it will keep it looking you know the same uh, so what I'm going to do is start with the top uh, now all of this is done that's all white and the right colors so I don't need to do anything with that uh, the only bit that needs doing on the top section let me get the other stages out of the way is this black line across the top here now it obviously comes up to this top section here and sort of two thirds of the way down the nice crinkly bit now because it's a nice crinkly bit let me just take the lander out of there because I don't need that to worry about at the moment because it's a nice crinkly bit there's virtually no way of getting masking to work properly on all of it what I'm going to do is get some masking tape and hopefully undo it without tearing it all in half so I'm going to use the very wide one because they don't get away with just using one one piece or two pieces uh, so I'm gonna cut off enough of that to go around uh, see how much do I actually need so there so about that gives me just more than I need now the easy bit is the bit on the top so I'm just gonna go around that line If I hadn't glued that together, I could have done it more easily, but there we go. So this I'm just putting around in place along that seam line, basically. And that bit that's cut is not working very well. There we 
perfect out. So that's the easy bit. That's the top masked off. Almost. Yep, happy with that. Uh, now the bottom bit is going to be the fun bit. So basically, we need that to go around there. Now that bit's the easy bit. The tricky bit. I keep saying bit. Why am I saying bit so much today? Oh well, right. Let's just get that cut off so I've not got the whole roll to worry about. So, obviously you're getting it lined up so it's actually... It's going to be a straight line, but I want it to be a straight line that joins up all the way around. So getting that to match there. Obviously I could measure it and do it all absolutely perfectly but it's not that much of a worry now obviously there's a couple of places like this that's definitely going to be a problem and the edges around here but the other bits that are going to be the problem is each and every one of these little seams so i will try and get it marked in and stuck down to all of it but i know it's not going to work there's too too much is going to bleed through because you're never going to get it, get it into all of the grooves. So what I'm going to do is basically go over in white first. Oops, I just realised I was well off the camera there. Let's get back in the middle. There we go. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, I can push it in with a, a stick into some of the grooves but I'm never going to get all of these ridges sealed in properly. So what I'm going to do is get it pushed in as well as I can into all of it. And then I'm going to give it a coat of the white primer. Uh, that will bleed under, but it doesn't matter because it's bleeding under to where it's going to be white. But it will also sort of lock in the top layer. So it won't let the black bleed under when I do that. So I'm going to do that now and give it a coat of white and not worry about it bleeding under too much. And then when that's dry, I'll go over again in the black and then I can uncover and make sure it works okay. I started on the top because it's an easy shape. Uh, the other bits obviously are gonna be more complicated masking out areas there. Uh, apart from the black, I still have to do the bottom layer. I didn't realize the bottom bit was actually an aluminium. So the very bottom layer, uh, basically the bits that are underneath here so the bottom of the fin and the bottom of these have got to be done in aluminium so I've got to mask off the top of that and then do that but I think I'll do that after the black I'll mask it off first I don't know I'll decide on that when I get to it uh, so I'm gonna get that done in black and then we'll see uh, get it done in white then black and then we'll see how it looks so I'll show you that in a sec Let's see how it works. I'm fully expecting there to be some touch up necessary, so if, it, if there isn't, I'm going to be more than happy. Now the paint is dry, but not completely dry. Uh, I've not let it sort of uh, deep dry as you might, but the, the surface is dry, makes it easier to pull off the masking and hopefully leave a nice edge. So the top edge, which is the one that I was least worried about, is looking good. I'm happy with that. Nice straight line, a couple of glitches, but nothing to worry about from any distance at all. That's not a problem. Uh, now let's see the one that I am worried about. Let's see how we go. Yeah, I should have left the white to dry a little bit more it's still a bit tacky under there but that's not a problem all in all mostly okay a little bit of misting on a couple of patches there but that's quite a nice sharp line most of the way around so yeah uh, note to self make sure you make let the the white dry properly 
I forgot it was going to take longer to dry it under the masking tape where it did seep through. You can see the, the wet patches, which is basically what would have been black if I hadn't done the, the pre-coat. When I did the white, I was more sort of not trying to spray it under, but going more downwards. When I did the black, I was purposefully doing lighter coats straight across. But all in all, I'm happy with that. That's come out quite well. Um, so a little bit of touch up. I'll do that with a brush in a, in a little while when it's all dried. But uh, that's that. I'm going to do much the same with the masking on the, the next stage. Uh, seeing where the next stage is. Let's have a look. Let me put that down again. To let that dry properly. Uh, right, we've got uh, from basically here the, the tapered piece down to... Uh, that black bit there which is half half of the the ridge uh, now what lines up where that's the, the real question because I want to get all of this is obviously in in, in line uh, if you can see that let me have a look back uh, we've got uh, basically the the line of this black line black stripe goes up through that and the edge of that has to line up with this demarcation here as it sort of shows on on these bits well it doesn't really tell you what's what uh, so starting at the bottom we've got uh, basically half of it is black but in four sections so we've got a mark off that and that that's all the bottom sections so that's quite easy the, the trick is going to be getting this to line up with that so what am I going to do I think I'm actually going to do the bottom section next because I've got the fins to line up with that. So I'm going to get the bottom section done, which is basically going to be masking off uh, yeah, the bottom that's going to be silver and these white patches, obviously all of this. And that's on the next bit down. So yeah, just from the top, we've got the black straight line here all the way down and a ring round. So that's not, not too bad. I might do that in two stages actually. I think I'm gonna no, because I've got to mask this anyway. Right, that's that's the that's the plan. Mask off basically all of the white, leaving this ring. So masking off this section here, which is going to be the fun bit, and obviously all the bottom. So I'll get that masked up, and then we'll see how it looks before I give it some paint. That's the masking done for the the first stage basically covered over the bits that are going to be staying white into the main central and basically the stripes leaving the black stripes there uh, just put a bit of newspaper around the bottom to protect that uh, one thing I did do I've taken off these little bits that were attached around here uh, they do need to be white so instead of trying to mask strange shapes um, I've just snapped them back off again uh, the glue obviously holds them in place but there was a little nudge and the way they're shaped you can actually get underneath and lever it up and they came off not a problem i tried one and it came off okay so i've taken all the others off except for the ones that were already covered by these bits here uh, now the dimensions i've eyeballed according to the the pictures and i say they're not necessarily exactly the same height but they're close enough that's not going to matter once it's in display uh, so I'm going to get this done again in white. I've I've gone around the edges again. One there, that's not quite right. Gone around the edges, trying to get them to sit into the grooves as well as I possibly can. So hopefully there won't be any or much overspray. Uh, what I'm going to do on this one is what I didn't do on the first stage and wait longer after I've done the white. Make sure the white has properly dried before I then go in and do black over the top uh, so I'm going to get this in the spray booth and it doesn't fit in the spray booth so we'll figure out some way around it and I'll get that painted up and then show you that when it's done and that's it the masking came off uh, there mostly it was fine there were a couple of uh, areas that needed a little bit of touching up a little bit of you know black in the white and white in the back so I've, I've gone through the edges a little bit uh, but all in all, I'm quite happy with that. That's come out quite nicely. Uh, I've got the next bit started to mask up. Um, basically, just need to do the, the black down the bottom there. Uh, I do still need to put the other bits back on here once that's all finished. Uh, so I need to mask off the top. 
little quarter segments and half segment two two quarter segments on the lower bit and one half segment on the top bit but i need to figure out which way around that's got to go depending on how it locks onto the top bit so i'm going to wait till that over there is dry properly and ready to be played around with i'll put that on the top to see where it all lines up and then get the last bit of masking done on that and the last bit of painting done on that uh the top bit i've done as well just a single black band around there so that goes into the top there uh, so it's approaching finished uh, just I'd say last bit of masking and last bit of painting to do and then that'll be that uh, then it'll be time to put the last few um, decals on well most of the decals on oh no one last bit on the bottom of this I've still got to paint these bits in aluminium so once this is dry again I'll be able to mask off say the lower bit and run the engines again and then just spray that in aluminium just to give that a good coverage and then that will be that once the decals are done put it all together and we'll be done so i shall see you in a moment when that's dry and i've masked up that and painted that and then we'll show you it going together right all the painting's done i've done the aluminium bit across the bottom and that was the last bit of painting uh touching up and everything's done as well uh what i have done is given it a quick uh go over with pledge just to give it a a slight gloss coat so it's a slightly smoother finish than just the paint and it gives the decals a better bed to lay onto uh, so i've got all the decals to do obviously i'm not going to film doing all of them because it would just be silly there's lots um i'll just put a couple on now and then do the rest and then show you what's finished uh the last bit that i've done so the the painting on this has come out with the, the sort of checkerboard pattern on there. Come out quite well. Uh, all in all, I'm happy with the way it's come together. The rocket itself is looking quite good now. It's it's looking like like a rocket, basically. Instead of just being a white tube, the black adds a certain bit to it. Uh, so, the uh, decals. Um, there's obviously quite a lot. The, the big bits are obviously easy. You've got the USA across the top, the United States, the flags, and the USA down the bottom. That's all the big bits. Uh, there are some extra sort of checkerboardy bits that go on uh, on the top here, around the top. It's just on camera, yep. Uh, and obviously the other markings and bits all over the place. Uh, basically, I'm going to start and work my way along all of them. Uh, so, what shall I do now? Let's start with uh, 26. It's a nice number to start with. There's four number 26s, and they go along each side around there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, with a knife, basically cut off that bottom section that's got them all on it. There we go. Always move the old decals, the, the decals you're not using yet, out of the way when you've got the uh, pot of water around, because if you splash all of them, then you're really in trouble. Uh, so I've got my tweezers just going to put them in the water for a few seconds that give the paper enough time to absorb lots of the water and then get rid of some of it on a tissue I'll move that to there move that back out of the way and then pay attention to where they've got to go uh, they're basically going on each of the black sections uh, above the ridges so just around there basically so let's Get that laying down there. There you go. Uh, a bit that you need to see is on camera. That's good. That's always nice. Uh, I'm going to grab out my tweezers that I've got. I've got some fairly flat uh, curved nose ones that aren't going to pinch too much. Yeah, that decal is moving around quite nicely on there. So I'm going to grab that and basically just slide that off where it needs to be get the others out of the way for now and using the side of the tweezers I can just finally position that looking at the pictures where it needs to be it's sort of about there sort of two thirds of the way along just going to see if I can rotate that a little bit and then using some microset 
that will just help it bed down a little bit nicer and make it a nice finish on there just going to stand that up to make sure I'm getting it horizontal which you can't really see unless it's standing up for it but that's that uh, basically I'm going to carry on and do all of the other decals now the different colours and bits trying to get them where they need to be and once it's done I'll show you that uh, then it's just time for a quick uh, sort of not sure what sort of finish to do I think I'm going to do a, again a light misting of pledge just to give it a hardened edge but without actually being shiny because it doesn't need to be matte or shiny it's sort of a satin finish but uh, that's come out quite well on this so far without going heavy on it so I think I'll do that again after the decals are down that'll just bed them in properly and then a little bit of light weathering so see you in a moment right well that's the kit finished uh, excuse the steady cam but I've just finished doing a, a sort of pledge gloss varnish finish over it so um, I can't fit it all in camera or move it around but that's the top half that's the bottom section with the lander obviously sitting next to it there uh, the one thing I forgot that I haven't done is the uh, two little bit two little men that are going to sit on there so I'm going to get them painted up now I'm just going to brush paint those uh, I'll check up the, the colors for uniforms and stuff get that done and then I'll show you the finished model in a moment well before I get to the main rocket itself I thought I'd show you the little interior pieces and the, the top bit that's obviously covered by the um, top of the rocket and this will be inside Let's say pick it up the legs go in works well and that's obviously the top piece that you'll be able to see but not you know I need to take it off to put that away uh, the rocket itself is just here all completed let's wire out the way um, the top bit is open, ready for the lander to go into it. So I'll pop that away and then give you a shot of the whole completed thing. The little guys, I've done the two little guys. Uh, give them one, look, they look like they've got helmets on. So I'll put, give them like the green helmet and one of them's got visor bit. So I've painted that. Other than that, they're done. So I'll get that in inset assembled, put in, put away and then show you the completed model. Right, again, you'll have to excuse the shaky hand cam because there's no way I can get this all in one shot, so I'm gonna have to come back and, and show you everything. Uh, the build itself has actually been really good fun. It's uh, a lot bigger than I expected it to be when I started. So the rocket itself is pretty huge. It obviously comes up to there. Um, lots of nice, I mean not much detail as such, but the, the decals certainly add a, a level of something to it. Uh, it's all the same, basically all the way around, so there's not much point in showing you everything. But uh, yeah, I've been happy with the build. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. I hope you um, so pick one up and build one yourself. So there should be a third guy standing over this side, but he's, he's the one that I I stole a while back as my little pointing guy and put him, put him in high vis so I can point out details on builds to people so if you build this kit you'll have a third guy standing over the other side uh, but yeah I hope you've enjoyed watching the, the build I hope you've uh, you know followed along from the first part hope you're subscribing to the channel and following for more uh, see what I've got coming up next and thanks for watching bye bye